Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle. This time we are having a PU tier match against Sep from my Discord server. If you guys would like to battle me, hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, or Discord. Links as always are in the description below. So we're having a PU tier match like I said, and I'm using this really cool team that I whipped up around Psychidium Z Lilligant. So it gets like uh, Shattered Psyche. It's pretty damn cool. I hope you guys will enjoy this team. But looking at my opponent's team, he's got the Agron, Magmortar, Primeape, Slacking, Zangoose, and Luxray. It's kind of crazy that Agron and Magmortar are PU. But um, anyway, looking at my team, we've got the Piloswan, Grumpig, Skuntank, Oricorio, Fire Form. <laughs> I don't know what the actual name is. Um, Electros, and the Lilligant. So this battle... <laughs> so something about this battle, guys. My, my poor, poor opponent got shit on the entire game i'm so sorry sep we will definitely have a rematch sometime oh my god it was just it was hacks on all sides it was, my opponent just got fucking body rocked it was pretty gnarly but anyway he was a good sport and he allowed me to upload this video so yeah <laughs> this one was a pretty nasty one i hope you guys will enjoy it So the battle begins, I'm going to lead off with Donald, which is my Piloswine. Look at Piloswine's little eyes. It's kind of crazy. Oops. Like, dropped my 3DS there. My opponent's going to lead off with his Aggron. I think Sep's a guy. So, as we see here, Aggron is floating on an air balloon. And uh, on the first turn, I believe we're just going to trade rocks here, which was honestly kind of a risky play. He could have very easily just gone for some kind of steel attack, and I think it would be super effective, but... Yeah, we're just going to trade rocks there, and on this second turn, you know, I'm feeling kind of ballsy here, so I'm actually going to go for the Icicle Crash. I kind of wanted to go ahead and pop this thing's balloon early, um, and I actually luck out here on the second turn, or no, is it the third, third turn of the game, um, I actually snag the flinch there, which is kind of crazy, and this is going to allow me, because I outspeed him, it's going to allow me to actually go for the Earthquake, and that's going to just straight up kill the Aggron, so... I'm, I apologize for the hacks there, but that was kind of wild. That was definitely a risky play that ended up working out in my favor. So now my opponent's going to bring out Angry Gandy, and uh, I'd probably be pretty angry too. <laughs> but uh, here, I'm just going to bring out Spoiled Bacon, which is my Grumpig. And um, yeah, I don't really have much defense investment, or I can't remember what the set is exactly. I think I have like 20 something in defense, but he's just going to go for the close combat. Obviously I resist that. Grumpig actually takes it relatively well, kind of. <laughs> um, but yeah, it doesn't put me below half, which is decent. And uh, he's obviously going to swap out here. So I was actually predicting the swap and I went for the Thunder Wave as my opponent is going to bring out Zangoose. And thank God I got this thing <laughs> freaking Thunder Wave. So because of the uh, paralysis, he's actually not going to be able to activate his Toxic Orb which is not going to give him the toxic boost, so his, uh, his Zangoose is effectively crippled here, um, which is perfect, but he's actually not down and out yet, as you'll see here, so I'm actually going to swap out here. Um, I don't want my, uh, my Grumpig to take a physical attack here. I'm going to bring out uh, Donald once again here, as my opponent is going to go straight for the Swords Dance, so he's now going to be at plus two attack, and I'm basically just praying that he gets fully paralyzed, and... He actually outspeeds me here, which um, I know, I think Paralysis was like nerfed in 7th gen or whatever. It doesn't slow you down as much as it did last gen. Um, but he actually outspeeds me there. He goes for the close combat. And unfortunately, that is going to kill off my Piloswine. So unfortunately, my my physical defense wall is now down. But that allows me to bring out Pepe Le Pew here. And uh, I'm, just, I'm basically just going to go for the... Uh, the poison jab here as uh, Zangoose does have that minus one defense he's not going to be able to take this poison jab very well he actually hits me um, and it does a dick load of damage Skuntank doesn't have the greatest physical bulk in the world but um, unfortunately for me he did not get fully paralyzed <laughs> um, so here my opponent's going to bring out sparks and uh, for whatever reason he actually has intimidate so this is actually not a guts luxray which is another really good thing for me um, so my opponent's actually just going to go for the Volt Switch. I actually have special investment on the Skun Tank, so I'm actually able to live that. And my opponent's going to Volt Switch out into the Slacking. So my opponent's doing a lot of switching, which is great for me because I have rocks up on his side. And I could have probably defogged his rocks away, but it, it would also have gotten rid of mine. Um, and I didn't want to do that. So I'm actually 
gonna go for the sucker punch here because I know he's gonna attack me and basically I'm just gonna let him kill off Le Pew. Um, I actually have the ability aftermath so he's gonna take like another 25% of damage there from the aftermath so his slacking is definitely not too healthy anymore. Um, and that's basically just going to give me a free switch into my Lilligant and uh, basically just be able to set up from here. <laughs> um, so he's gonna have to take a turn of Truant or whatever it's called. <laughs> So he's basically just going to loaf around. I'm actually going to go for the Sleep Powder here, which is clean, because that is basically, he either has to swap or just stay asleep, basically. So that gives me a free Quiver Dance. He does decide to swap out, and uh, he brings out Gandy's Oven. He has a lot of Mons named after his trainer for some reason. It's kind of kind of funny, I guess. Um, but yeah, I just get a free Quiver Dance here. And uh, so this following turn... Uh, I actually decide to pop the Z Crystal here, go for the Shattered Psyche here, and there is no way in hell in my mind that he lives this, but apparently he is Assault Vest as fuck, <laughs> and he actually barely hangs on with like a sliver of HP. It really sucks, man. I was hoping that Lilligant was going to be able to kill this thing, but unfortunately for me, that is not the case here, as you'll see. I love, oh my god, the animation for Shattered Psyche is honestly one of my favorites but uh he actually lives that he goes for a fire blast and misses guys just another case of where my opponent was just super super unlucky this battle that really sucks dude we <laughs> you deserve a rematch after that man that really blows but i'm actually able to just kill this thing off with a giga drain just because he was so low and uh, he's gonna bring out ang angry gandy again um I, I can't blame him man i'd be pissed too <laughs> Um, so he's going to go for the close combat. I'm actually near full health, so I'm pretty sure I can actually tank one of those, and I do. So that's going to drop his defense once, and well, and special defense one stage. I'm actually just going to go for a Giga Drain here, and uh, because of that, and because of my Quiver Dance earlier, I'm actually going to be able to kill him, and uh, I'm actually getting a lot of my HP back. Om nom nom delicious. And uh, he's going to bring out Sparks now, which is the Luxray, of course. And uh, I believe I just stay in here and I just go for another Giga Drain. I believe the Giga Drain actually kills him as well, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, his basically his last two mons are this Luxray and the Slacking. And of course, Slacking is in the back catching some Zs. So basically, this battle ended up being a Lilligant Sweep. And uh, I gotta say, I really love the Psychonium Z set. It's really fun. Uh, it's a little bit different than like the normal Lilligant, which is kind of cool. I like it. Um, so he's gonna bring out slacking which again is asleep. He literally can't do anything to me So I'm just gonna giga drain and that is going to be the battle. So this battle was really unfortunate for my opponent I feel kind of bad, but he he told me that it was okay if I uploaded it. So it's fine Honestly, I just wanted to upload this video just because it was kind of funny how unlucky my opponent was and uh, I don't know it's like whenever I stream Pokemon I always get super unlucky like I I end up losing like almost every match pretty much it seems but there's like these one one in a million moments for me where I just get all the luck in the world and my poor opponent just does not stand a chance so I just kind of wanted to upload that because I thought I thought all the hacks was kind of funny but anyway I know you guys don't like these battles where it's like super one-sided or whatever I just thought it was funny because all the hacks and stuff but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, I hope you guys are looking forward to seeing more of this team. Um, I'm trying to get some battles with this team and stuff. So we'll see how they go. And um, yeah, I'm going to probably get out of here, guys. I love you. Peace out.